So it's happened three times in the last few months that I've had a car come in that uh, has had an engine swap from a, this is LS cars, from a 24 tooth um, engine originally to a 58 tooth engine or front cam 58 tooth, um, but still running the 24 tooth uh, computer and either wouldn't start, it's popping when you try to start it, um, whatever. I'm here to show you how to confirm uh, while the engine's already in, without taking the cam sensor out, because um, that's almost impossible to do, as you know, on the front cam sensors, not easy to get to after the motor's already in. I'm going to show you a way to uh, be absolutely sure that the cam sensor wiring is correct that whole A to C swap, which everybody should already know about. When you go from a rear cam sensor on LS to a front cam sensor, the front cam sensor, uh, it's the signal output and the voltage is reversed from A to C, so you have to reverse those two. Uh, if you didn't know that, well, now you do. Um, if you did know that and you're like, oh shit, I already put my uh, engine in, uh, well, I'm gonna show you now how to check it and how to correct it while the motor's in. So, like I said, getting to the uh, front crank, for front cam sensor, how many times am I going to make that mistake in this video? Um, well, hell, you can't even see the thing. This is a Cadillac CTS-V 2005, so it was a 24X engine. Uh, this is an LS2 swap that was converted to a 24X, but with a front cam sensor. Um, you know, the rear cam plug was in the back here and basically everyone always just extends the wires out so they extend the wires so right back here where the original plug was is where you're going to do the testing now this works um, you know if you're going to put your uh, if you're doing this for the first time you actually don't actually have it installed my method here also works well so the issue is that you can't I got a uh, front cam sensor over here. Um, you can't just go by um, you can't just go by resistance on these. You see, because the resistance of different manufacturers' uh, front cam sensors on the LS is different, and even uh, resistance is just a bad method anyway. Because each multimeter can even read different resistance. So, imagine this is in the front of the engine. You've got wires already going up to it. You either haven't connected them in the back yet or you haven't connected, you're not sure if they're right. Um, you're getting that cam sensor code, what is it? It's a P0346, I think. I think, 336 is a crank, 346 is a cam. Yeah, that's right, P0346. So if you're getting that code, this is how you have to check it. Uh, I'm going to set this back up on the tripod so I have two hands. Okay, so now imagine uh, this is in the front of your engine, which you can't get to, and these are the wires um, that are going to the back of your engine where you're going to make the connection, or we already have the connection, at the old cam sensor plug. Uh, I only had these jumpers in one color, but you should have three different colors. If not, actually it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, you have, you're gonna have A, B, and C. And the thing is when you have the wires there, you may not even know which is A, B, and C. Um, so I'm going to show you here how to determine exactly which one of these three wires is your uh, five or 12 volt. Your, let's just call it the voltage. Uh, which one is the low return or ground? Same thing, just different terminology. Low return, ground. Let's simplify it. Let's call it ground. And which one of these is your signal so that you can get them wired properly? And obviously, you are, it's up to you to uh, find a wiring diagram from the vehicle that you have to know which colors 
your uh, 24x uh, rear mounted cam sensor which one is voltage which one is ground and which one is the signal um, so what we're going to do is use a mole a mole multimeter uh, you can't use like a dollar store chinese chinese multimeter because i don't think they have the diode tester on there this is the uh i don't know if you can see it uh this is the symbol here right there um, you may have used a multimeter, maybe you've never used the, the diode test function. Um, this fluke, go here, press it here, get some little like right there. So what this does, it's like kind of like an ohm meter, but it just tests, um, tests diodes. It tests uh, resistance or voltage flow in one direction. Luckily, each one of these has a uh, different um, well, you know what? Let me show you the paper over here. Put it down on paper, okay? Write down write it down just like this. A to B A to C B to A B to C C to A, C to B. So what you're doing, these are all the possibilities. You're checking each direction. Uh, I know this is like confusing now, but it'll make sense in the end. And we're gonna make true and false statements about this. Uh, so instead of measuring a number, you will get a number on your multimeter, but that number doesn't matter because everyone's gonna be different. It doesn't matter. It's just whether you get a number or not. If you get a number, you write true. If you don't get a number, you get usually L O L on the multimeter, then you're gonna write a false. Okay. Uh, first, um, take your first one. Actually, this is an interesting point. So you don't know which one of these is, you may be confirming, uh, yeah, I think I know which one is A, which one is B, which one is C but you also may have no fucking idea. So maybe you have uh, three white wires there or three red wires and you have no idea. Still write down the same thing, A, B, and C, and label the wires. Um, or maybe you wanna do one, two, three, whatever. One, two, three, or A, B, C, same thing. Okay, you're gonna take your first one. And this direction, okay, see I'm doing like A to B, uh, the one on the left here is always going to be your ground. That's important. It's got to be into the com, common on the multimeter. Uh, use your black one. It's always going to be the ground. Okay? So the first one I'm going to do is whatever, the wire I'm calling A to the wire that I'm calling B. I don't know if you can see the multimeter. Let me try to set this up so you can actually see the uh, yeah, okay, you should be able to see it now. So, what do we have? Nothing. Making a contact there, nothing happening. Just to show you, oh, this one even has a little beeper. I'm just uh, bypassing that now just to check it. Okay, so, RA to RB here, uh, we're going to call that a false. Now, our A to our C, or our 1 to number 3, also a false. Nobody home. So we have false, false on that one. So this one, whether you call it A or 1, you're going to have a false, false next to it. Our next one is number 2, or B, and we'll go B to our A first, so that direction. So now we've got the ground on the second one, and, ah, we got something. We got, again, the number doesn't matter. So, that's a true. Now B to C, or two to three, is a false. So we're gonna write that down. Lastly, we're gonna go from our third one, or, or C, back to A. That's a true. Then we go from our C, which has the ground, to our B, also a true. Now, did you see a pattern here? 
I don't know if you did or not, but you'll notice that uh, after you look at your paper, and this is kind of the cheat sheet, so this is what you need to know, is that in a proper cam sensor, uh, these are the proper lettering on an LS2 cam sensor, A to B is going to be false, A to C is going to be false. B to A will be true, B to C will be false, C to A will be true, C to B will be true. So therefore, whatever two that you had false on, that is pin A. Whatever two that you had true on, that is pin C. Whatever two you had uh, whatever one you had one false one true that is pin B so pin A is your voltage pin B is your ground pin C is your signal of that sensor now knowing this you're going to label these and then you're going to make your connection to the proper ground um, signal and voltage on your uh, harness that's in your car and thing will start up like new. Thanks.